What is going on everyone? It's Royal Tim here and today I'm going to show you how to use the Femur plugin and uh, how to configure it using some consistent naming conventions uh, with these colors that have been laid out here which I'll explain and what we're going to want to do is uh, if you haven't already grab the duplicate file the links in the description and then we can go ahead and ensure that we are in the community the Figma community and I'm gonna go ahead and type in themer and I can just select plugins and then you just want to make sure that you have this themer plugin installed and the links also in the description as well and once you have that installed we can go over to our browser and once you're on your browser the links in the description you can go ahead and just click on jasonbin.io and then I'm gonna log in with my github account and all we have to do all we have to do is once you have the JSON bin account created is go over here to your profile and select API keys and then you're gonna to want to copy this save this key we're gonna use it for later and once you have that copy we can go ahead and jump back into Figma and I have this file here and once you've opened it up or you could just follow along uh, what we're gonna do is we have a light theme and a dark theme uh, with some some basic colors here and this, these top two rows are the dark theme and below is the light theme. And we're gonna apply a consistent naming convention that is exactly the same in both dark and light mode. The only difference is obviously the color that is attached to the color style, but not the name, but the prefix is different. And that's what's gonna allow us to make these dark and light themes. So for example, here in the background section, I have, I have a set of colors that are for back for various types of backgrounds for different types of components and and even uh, uh, to apply to, uh, to, to elements on an interface. And also we have a content section, which is representative of uh, different states the text, the typography might be in, in your design system here. And then we have the same exact thing here, but in light mode below. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on this color here and go ahead and select my style icon and then click create style and I'm going to prefix this with dark and I like to add some spaces before and after my slash and then we're going to label this category within the dark theme as the the category for background colors so I'm going to go ahead and name this navigation so now when we click outside of on the canvas you can see that we now have a a dark set of color styles that are local to our file that live under the background category and we have our one color style there and we're gonna go ahead and create the the content uh, our next section and I'm gonna go ahead and select the text here and then go ahead and click create style and what I'm gonna do is prefix that with dark and then the section is content and it is the I like to call it the active state so now when we click off onto the canvas you can see that we now have our two sections and we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing uh, for the sections below but I'm going to pause this and uh, challenge you to creating the style the rest of the styles here and I'm going to pause the video and do that myself so now I have gone ahead and created all the styles that I need in both dark and light mode you'll see that here I have all the colors you can even reorganize them by dragging and dropping them here in this right panel I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that background section and just ensure that everything is there as needed. And the last thing you're gonna to need to do is ensure that you have published these styles so they're accessible or else this won't work with the Themer plugin. And now that I have all my colors here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit option three on my keyboard for Mac OS. Uh, if you don't have that, all you gotta do is go to your assets and select the team library. And you're gonna to want to publish this file and I'm just going to click publish styles only there and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just add a message so that way I know exactly what was added and I can reference this uh, point in time in the Figma file via the version history feature that Figma has to offer which is very helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click publish styles here and once that publishes we can go ahead and open up the Themer plugin. And then once you have Themer opened up, you're going to want to copy the key 
I'm going to delete these themes here. It cop the key that you copied from the JSON bin website uh, right here. Make sure you have that key copied there. Access your API keys, copy the key. And what you're going to want to do is go to your admin settings, and you won't have any of these fields filled out. And what you're going to want to do is paste the API key in here, and then it'll automatically generate that bin URL. So just click Save Settings. And then what you can do now is click Create Theme. And we don't have to give it a unique name in this context because we have the dark and light mode color styles already organized. And what we can do now is check this box that says split prefix styles into themes and click create. And what it's going to do is create those themes for you. Uh, for some reason, it generated an extra theme. That could be due to me potentially typing something wrong, a typo of some sort. And now I'm going to teach you how to use this themer plugin. So I have some examples here in, in, my, in these designs. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these over here. And here we can see that there are all these colors, but there, there are no styles attached. They're not attached to styles. So what I'm going to do is uh, so this is actually in uh, dark mode, this example. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these color styles now. So this is in dark mode clearly. So I'm going to make sure that this is attached to the page color. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all the text here and ensure that that is attached to the dark content active color style. So now every element here, except for this icon, uh, has all of the proper color styles. So when I go ahead and duplicate this so I can convert it to light mode, I'm going to go ahead and select my light here. And that is the messed up theme, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to select the other light theme and click Apply. And you'll see that this applies in an in instant. It's very fast. I could even duplicate this again and revert this back to dark mode. And I have another example down here where you could go ahead and apply the proper colors here. Um, I'll just go ahead and do this with you. If you select all these colors, all the colors necessary is just light content active and I set a default color to the check boxes and for these dividers I just added the content muted color and what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, apply the background color I almost forgot so light background page where you could add section if you'd like um, whatever makes more sense for you and your design system and then I'm going to just go ahead and click have the dark theme applied and select apply and there you have it. I mean, it's that quick and easy to use. Uh, as long as you have consistent naming conventions and your color styles with the right prefix, you can go ahead and start designing in one mode only and then converting it to any other theme as needed. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this, and I'll catch you in the next one.